let's see where has intellectual property gone from sports to live events one of the interesting thing of live events which is what i want to sort of share with you is many years ago uh, i had to give an opinion on a royalty related issue of uh, a cricket match and it was a world cup series and we had to opine whether actually there was any copyright in a live feed of a cricket match and the opinion that i gave is sorry there is no copyright in a live feed because copyright does not subsist in a live program it's what you record and the expression of it that is copyrightable so therefore we were able to interpret a treaty provision on the basis of saying that there is no copyright in a live event and that's how crores and crores of rupees were saved on interpretation of whether a copyright subsists in a live event or not so i'm just trying to sort of tell you where the copyright regime is moving where the intellectual property regime is moving what is it that people must do here onwards i think first is a basic understanding of what is intellectual property how do you protect and leverage that intellectual property and i think unless you recognize the fact that everything that you do in a company like percept or any other company that is into value creation or content creation please for god's sake go and protect that unless you go and seek registrations of that unless you go and advertise it quite aggressively you are not going to be in the business of protecting it for you or for your client and therefore that is extremely critical